the lock. Do it all again, Joe Watts. Fuck you with a dope boy. Dope boy. Dope boy. Fuck you with a dope boy. What is trippin' my peeps? Call me peeps back here for episode 5 of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Wonderlock. The last part we made our way over to this forest. Hopefully this should be an episode where we can get quite a bit done. The first the first four have been kind of like error episode. Not really error, but they've been like kind of getting into things episodes. Now we should be able to start making progress with the game. Like a lot of progress. Instead of just these little teeny tiny pitter patters. So we are in, I will be honest, I don't remember the name of the forest. We are in Petalburg Woods. So I'm going to very quickly jot this down for my no notes before I forget. Petalburg Woods. And then let's do a party recap. And then we can get our first encounter in here. And start moving skedaddling right along. So. First we have our starter here. Baneri, who we have uh, decided to call Renee. Pound Splash, Defense Scroll, Foresight, Limber, and Impish Nature. Next, we have our Adamant Nature Skizzer, who we have called Slim. He's got Night Slash, Leer, Counter, Razor Wind, and Swarm is his ability. And these two Pokemon need to be Wonder Traded. What are you holding? Oh, he's holding a pretty ring. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We found that out last time. So, we're not going to worry about Wonder Trading. At the end of the episode, I think we'll try again. You know, he'll try Wonder Trading once or twice and seeing how it goes. And, uh, I mean, if by the time we defeat the first gym and we can't Wonder Trade properly still, then most Wonder Trades will probably happen off screen. And then I'll make, like, a little montage of them. Like, kinda I did the first one, only maybe not. It definitely won't be as long. But I'll still make sure to capture it on screen. It just won't be live. I guess everything you guys see isn't live, but it's all like live one session, one take recording, so, you know. You know what I mean? Like, you get what I'm saying? Baby, doesn't that lower attack? Let me see. No, stop. No, stop. Let me look at this move! Gosh dang it. The move always goes first. That's interesting. And it lowers the attack stat. Well, we'll get rid of Splash for it. I mean, Splash literally does nothing. This might be able to be helpful. If someone wants to try and set up on us or something. I don't know. And I like that this uh, bug caster sending out Wormpoles. Wormpoles don't scare me, especially at level 5. Which means Veneri, our cute little starter here, can just keep gaining all this XP. Virtually worry 3. 3 free. I've, uh, I've ended up locking my door. My aunt's not home from work yet, so if you hear pounding and yelling, I can't hear it, obviously, and so I won't be able to pinpoint it in the episode to edit it out or do whatever I need to do, so if that happens, I apologize in advance. There's not much I'll be able to do about it, because I literally can't hear anything with these on, so. I mean, obviously I can hear the game, but that's the point, is to hear the game. Alright, thank you for all that XP, little boy. Alright, our first encounter. Doesn't really matter what it is as long as we can catch it. It's a Wurmple. Are you going to be higher than level 5? If not, we're just going to have to throw Pokeballs. You are level 6. It should live. It should live. It should live. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Easy for this Wurmple. Easy peasy. Now, do you want to stay in this Pokeball? We haven't bought any Pokeballs yet. But so far, no one's broken out, so hopefully I didn't just break the trend. Thank you. Sweet. So we caught ourselves that Wurmple. How do you spell Wurmple? Is it... Let me wait until we get on the screen so I don't freeze the capture card. It's W-U-R-M. I thought it was W-R-U. Okay. Alright, I got it. So this one's five, correct? This one would be Wonder Mr. 4-5. A lot of people like to use the stylus or the touchscreen. I'm not a touchscreen kind of guy myself. If you couldn't tell by now. I mean, one thing is it makes me look down. Which I guess is not the biggest issue. But, I don't know. 
It's just look, I'm learning I'm learning the the power buttons, not the button I should be pressing. I'm learning. A paralyzed seal, we will take that. We will easily take that. But I mean it requires me to look down, it require I guess it's not really like it's terrible. It's just I don't know. It, to me personally it's just quicker to not even deal with it, so whatever. Alright, what are you hiding here? A potion. I will take it. That's the potion we gave to that little boy. So, what is the point of that? Does that even do anything? Oh, this is the, uh, okay. This is how we can grab this item up here. Or I guess a item. A Pokeball. That's okay, because we haven't bought any, because I'm dumb. Although, we'll be fine. I don't, there's maybe only one encounter by the time we get to the next town. That's a maybe. I think after this forest, it takes us to the town, so... Whatever. But... It was raining pretty hard today. I was coming home from... Yo! I was coming home from work, and I found back-to-back -back onyxes. I was in... It was impressive. Like, you know how for freeways, you have, like, an entrance on one side, the exit on the other? You know? I was coming home, so from the entrance, I was coming, Sam coming towards me. So I was coming towards me, stopped at the light, boom, Onyx to the left. Then drove up literally at the other side of the freeway. Like, not like driving, you know, on the freeway, but the other side of like the entrance exit of the freeway, there was another Onyx. I was able to catch the first Onyx, but the second one ran away. Which made me mad, like Pokemon Go, it's so luck based and it's very frustrating. Because, like... We'll deal with him in this. I, you know what? Um, if I remember, I'll continue the story in this battle. Heh, <laughs> not, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomers around here? I really love that Pokemon. <laughs> a little too much, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, uh, I better keep my mouth shut. Shh, don't tell anyone, kid. Yo, he looks grumpy. I was going to ambush you, but you had to waddle in Petalbug Woods. Forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. Technically, you still did ambush him. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Eh, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please. Hmm, what do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one who crosses Team Magma gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. How do they do that? It's like, I saw that part. It's like that, all right, boom, or like that. I don't know, something. Either way, so the first one was like a three, I don't know, I wanna say like a 353. It was somewhere around the 350, or 320s or something. And I caught it first ball, first berry, first ball. So that made me happy. Level nine, that actually kind of scares me. That actually does scare me a little bit. And so, I caught the first one, first berry, first ball, no problem. The second one, I threw a Pokeball, because it was only like a 200, it was like a 220. So like, okay, maybe it's a lower level, might not need a berry. I threw a Pokeball, it shook twice, and then, oh gosh, what am I supposed to do? Counter? I mean, he outspeeds us, so. We do resist, so I'm not worried about taking a hit. Oh, please, no. This Poochie and this Poochie and it can't be the end of us. It just can't. Stop! Oh my gosh. It is a good thing we resist. I could have been going for Night Slashes though. Are you gonna hit? Fine. <laughs> and that still only did four. Ha! Oh come on! Alright, I'm not relying on this stupid. I I'm done. I mean, Night Slash isn't gonna do that much, but the amount of times we could have hit with it. What? Did a lot more than I thought it would. He resists it. Our attack stat must be really coming together. If I didn't, I thought it was only gonna do like 15% or something, you know? That did almost half. Please don't miss. Oh! Look at, look at Slim here. Making sure to get the job done. It's nice to have a steel type early on. It actually really is. Pursuit? Yes. Let's get rid of Leer. It's just another move. You never know when it could be handy. Hey, look up in here. <laughs> You're so strong. Ooh, we got $360. 
You an Xbox fanboy? Grr, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Magma. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Magma are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go for today. Or do we come out the other end of Route 104 first, and then we go up to Rustboro? I thought that was a different route, but that it might actually be this route. Actually, I think that's what happens. Well, that was awfully close. <laughs> thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. Hey, now as we all know, XP shares turned off for everything except grinding. The XP share is a super high-tech device. I had to strain every fiber of my brain and body to develop this device. Turn the switch on and battle experience will be shared by all Pokemon. <laughs> Please give it a try. And with this, I'll restore your Pokemon's health. It's another technical advance that I'm proud of. Give it to me! I will take it! I will take it off your hands! You, you're a scientist, just go make another one! Ah! Didn't then Team Magma Thug say they were after something in Rustboro too? Uh-oh, it's a crisis! I can't be wasting time! Like, for real, bruh, give me that healing device. Come on, now. Don't be like that. You don't need it. You obviously don't have any Pokemon. And you're a scientist. You can just go make another one, right? I mean, I will take that and gladly use it. <laughs> that would break the game, honestly. I mean, regular game, you don't even need it, because if a Pokemon faints, it's not gone. But, Encanto's not part steel, is it? It's just bug, right? No. It's I think I'm thinking of Durant. Durant's they're very similar. Durant I know is part steel. I don't know if Nincada was though or not. Is it pure bug? Why do I feel like it has a secondary typing? Maybe when it evolves. Oh, okay. Well, XP shares automatically on. Great. I will take that off. I'm sorry. The only two people who gained levels were the ones we're trading away, so. I completely forgot that it's on automatically. How do you even turn this off? I don't think I've ever turned it off. You just do it like this. Off. Off, my boy. You know, I kind of wish... I hope that in Sun and Moon they go back to the... I hope in Sun and Moon they go back to the... Uh, the original XP share. Or at least have both. Because, like... I don't really like the XP share going to every party member. Even when I'm not in a game. I don't like it. It's just... I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. I just, I wish that they would at least make, like, an option or something. Hey. And we all know who this is, so... What do we get? What voice do we give her? I don't know. She's on, like, a... On a radio, though, so... <coughs> this is Pedalbert. This is Pedalbert Recon Team checking in! <coughs> I better use my other hand. I'm afraid I have to... <coughs> begin with an... <coughs> apology, Miss Courtney. <coughs> it's not... <coughs> good news! The mission is a no-go! <laughs> I hope you can still hear me even though I'm covering my mouth. Maybe I'll open it up a little. A little something! Maybe I'll talk louder. I don't know, I just hope you can hear me. A little something <laughs> crept up and <laughs> got in the way. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> got it. Will do. <laughs> I'll continue investigating the energy we detected. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. But that kid sure had some promise as a trainer, I'd say. What a mysterious Team Grunt member that they would point out. They pointed her out. I mean, it's not like she's going to be important later on or anything. And we got Echoed Voice. Now, that's our first No, that's not. Wait, is it? I think... Oh, I don't know. Regardless, it is... Oh, neither... I was going to teach it to Baneri for stab, but huh, never mind. I also need to give our two Pokemon some berries. I did forget about that. They do need some berries. Some Oran berries, rather. Just in case their health gets a little low. I mean, you hope it never gets that low. But it's always better to be prepared. And if I remember correctly, isn't there a Fire Stone up there? I thought there was some sort of stone up there. I think it's Fire Stone. Uh, sure. Doesn't she give us the pail? We don't really care about berries. I know how to do berries. I know some LPRs like to read every little thing, but that's not me. Only the important stuff. There's a... Uh... Thank you for the cherry berry. There's really no reason. I mean, you, we only talk to NPCs for items. So... Alright, we got the Wilmer pail. Good. And... This little girl said she wanted candy, right? 
Yeah, don't take candies from strangers, little girl. That's uh, just asking for trouble. I mean, just maybe, maybe your world's different. We got a Pokeball. I will take that because Pokeballs are always useful. We got a Super Potion. I will take that. Those are always useful. Then we are on the other route. I was gonna say this is the other end of Route 104, right? Pretty sure it was, but just wanted to check. Now, there we go. I say, how do we sort items here? All right. It's a shame the only people that can learn the first TM we got are not part of the party. Oh well, maybe they'll wonder trade into something decent if they even wonder trade at all. I did not mean to pick that up diagonally, but okay. I was looking this way. I don't know why or how that happened, but whatever. I thought there was a Firestone up here, but it might have been someone's randomized game that they found one. I don't know. Maybe they just changed it from the originals. I don't know, okay? Our Baneri was also caught in a Ultra Ball. Or bred in an Ultra Ball. I don't know which it is. Can you even find level 1 Pokemon in the wild? I don't think you can. There's probably bred into an Ultra Ball. Uh, alright, cool. Alright, cool. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me, you won't. Fight me, you won't. Lady Cindy, Zigzagoon, that's all you got? I actually would not mind a Zigzagoon purely for pickup. Pickup can be very useful. Having a Zigzagoon traded back to us is... Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna see if we can stay in. What? Turned away? Fine. You wanna lower my attack? Then we'll just make the swap. Fine. I tried to play nice. I was trying to give you my cute little puppy, or bunny, dog eyes. No, why is, oh, as I say, why is this Zigzagoon so strong? But it was a crit. I say, this Zigzagoon did almost the same as that Puccino three howls. And he is still doing half, though. At plus three, this Zigzagoon might be doing like five or something, I don't know. But you growled a little too late. It's goodbye for you. It would have taken two growls to maybe live that second one. But even then, I, it might have even taken three, I don't know. Oh, man. And there's one reason why XP share is not allowed unless you're grinding. Oh, she gave us a lot of money. Thank you, lady. Can we get the Versus Seeker and come back? Is, I mean, you're already getting boosted XP. So you don't need, you know, your entire party leveling up. And the only reason it's accept like I'm I'm actually curious as to why it's acceptable for grinding. Because I mean originally my thought was What? What is going on? So we can't level up past ten? Sweeney was right, gosh dang! So what the heck am I supposed to do? So I just have to okay. Wow. Hopefully we can make it past this first gym then. I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess we- I thought that the level cap was 20, but it's 10. That's interesting. I thought the first gym had like- I thought the gym leader had like a level 10 and a level 12. Is that not right? Huh. Well, I better try and keep Skizzer under the level gap then. Goodness. I gotta try and keep Scissor slim there under the level gap so that he'll listen to us during the gym. Shroomish, why are you kind of bulky? I don't want to be stuck in this battle forever. If you're not gonna listen. We could also, we'll try Wonder Training too. We'll see if we can't get some Pokemons. Some Pokemons. But back to the XP share. I mean, it's like... I guess in a way it... See, the only way the XP share makes sense for me is if you lose, like, three party members, and then you have to grind them up. It's stupid to grind them up one by one. Like, say we're at the end of the game, and I don't remember what endgame levels are, but say we're at, like, level 45, and we add someone to the team who's, like, a level 5. And, you know, like, a level 5, a 7, and a 12. It'll be stupid to grind them all up to 15, or I'll grind them all up to 40 or whatever, singly. That'll take too long, especially without the speed up button. That'll take way too long. Even with boosted XP, that would take way too long without speed up button. 
But I guess, like, losing one mon, you wouldn't need the XP share. I don't know. I mean, XP share is only allowed in grinding, and the only time it's ever used is when you need multiple Pokemon to be grinded up. Now, this double battle might be a tad bit tiny bit of trouble. Simply because double teams are a thing. Veneery is not going to listen to us. And, uh, let's take out C-Dot first. C-Dot has that multi-hit move that kind of scares me. Bide? Oh gosh, no. That's even worse. Alright, at least you hit. You should kill. Skizzer Slim here should hopefully kill. Get out of my face. Alright, I'm not so concerned anymore. Bide is scary, though. Especially if Beniri didn't want to listen. Oh, that would have been so scary. Except for now, I have two Pokemon that can't listen. So, we gotta hope that they both listen to us. That gym battle is going to be something else, for sure. That gym ba oh my gosh, that gym battle is going to be something else for sure. Baneri, don't do it. Oh, Baneri, thank you. Thank you, you cute little Baneri. Frustrate? No, 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 no. This binary is not going to hate us. If you teach your Pokemon frustration, you are a bad trainer, okay? Because my Pokemon are going to love me. Especially this thing, because I want a low pun, gosh dang it. So this is going to love me. We will come back for that fisherman. We need to heal. Gosh dang it. How'd you beat us here? Ah, so like you made it here to Rust Mode too, Mr. Four. Ah. Like, I was just in there, and their Frappuccinos are such literal garbage. Ha <laughs> ha they are so bad. I didn't even buy one. Oh, shoot, I didn't read what she said. Gosh dang it. I apologize. Oh, and Mr. Four, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here, too. Ha, like, once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on my on with my team. Like, see you later. Ha <laughs> ha I need to go find a better Frappuccino store seller. Alright, now I think that that one fisherman is the only guy we need to fight. Then we can come and explore the city. We saw that scientist there. Wait, can we take on, can we even take on the gym now? Or do we have to do the entire scientist thing first? So we have to do the entire scientist thing first. Our team is already overleveled. I don't know if I'd say overleveled, but our team is already like... What the heck am I supposed to do? Just hope that they listen? Oh, you got cut. I won't be able to use it until we beat the gym. Well, thank you. Why we would use cut over tackle, I don't know. But, thanks anyways. Mr. Briny. I was wondering what that old guy's name was. I forgot. I remember his stupid Wingle's name is Pico, but I forgot his name. Are you just waiting for dinner? I mean, I feel ya, but... Like, what? <laughs> Look, you don't have to come up with different meals any, uh, uh, every day. Just, uh... If you're cooking dinner, you tell them to eat what's on the table, or they eat nothing at all. Or they can go to the Pokemart, literally... What would I call that? 20 feet to their right. Either way, this fisherman's gotta go. Is he just a magic carp? Although, if I were smart, I would try and Wonder Trade first. But, I would really like to Wonder Trade after. Are they both gonna- is this guy gonna want a battle too? If they both want a battle, I'd prefer to Wonder Trade first, in case we get like a level 1 or something. And we can switch train. You know what, let's- let's- gosh dang it, what do I do? I don't know what I do, because I, I want to keep these around 25 minutes, but- I guess maybe 30s. 30s wouldn't be too bad. Let's, uh... Let's try a couple Wonder Trades. If... Uh, no, let, let, let's try some Wonder Trades to end off this episode. So we'll end off this episode is by attempting... Keyword is attempting some Wonder Trades. Now the problem with a Wonder Lock is the fact that the game saves every time you Wonder Trade... So, if something goes wrong with the episode, 
kind of screwed there. I've never had one problem with OBS crashing before, but if it were to, I'd lose an entire episode, and if it was saved, that would be terrible. But it's never happened before. I've been using OBS for like a year and a half, so... So far, so good. Alright, let's see if we can't get anything for... Which one? Yeah, the Zigzagoon. You don't have an item. Oh, he had shield dust. Look at that. All right. We've tried trading this thing away before. Let's see if we can get something now. We've progressed through the game a little. Can we find someone, please? I seriously, seriously, if anyone knows how Wonder Trade works and why I'm having such problems with it, let me know. I, like, is the game just really this dead? Is Wonder Trade really just this dead? That's crazy. That's just crazy if it's really this dead. It doesn't look like we're finding anyone this time. We'll give it three total tries, so this is one. This music just blasting in your ear it gets you so hyped. Speaking of that, I did order a new headset. Not because this one's bad, but um, I'm doing some research. Best Buy had a sale. I was just scrolling through Best Buy sales, their weekly ad, and I saw that the Sony Extra Base model was only 129 So I did some research, and uh, I ended up buying it because I myself am a bass head. I love myself bass, you know. I listen to hip-hop, R&B, you know, rap. Um, trap, some dubstep, not too much, but some dubstep. So I'm, I'm, I'm a really bass, bass head heavy guy myself, and everyone says that they're so wonderful for bass. They're absolutely amazing for bass. And so you know, we'll we'll see. They said they'll be here by August third, so we'll probably get here Monday or Tuesday or something. I don't know. Seriously, Wonder Trade makes me so mad with this. I just don't know why we have so many problems with it. I don't know. I just, very personally, I've been, I'm like a broken record. I'm repeating this ever since we started Wonder Trading, but I just feel like it can't be this dead. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. The fact that we only have two Pokemon because of how garbage Wonder Trade's being means we're pretty overleveled. And I. I don't remember. I don't think we can even take on the gym now. Don't we have to do all the uh, Team Magma stuff first before we can even take on the gym? So it's like, bruh. <laughs> we'll be like level 16. Alright, we'll give it one more try. And then we'll go ahead and end the episode if it doesn't work. And even if it does work, we'll end the episode. But So I think the way Wonder Trade will work is I'm gonna just sit. I'll try and Wonder Trade these guys off. Um, probably have the intro, and then it'll just fade into this, like the Wonder Trade screen. You know, I won't introduce the game or anything. And then I'll just have like a little montage of when we finally find someone, if we do. And uh, I'll probably be at Wonder Trade to go, assuming this is how it still is after the gym. I feel like after the first gym, Wonder Trade really opens up, but I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't look like we're gonna find anybody. I, I just I feel like it has to. There's no way. There's no one on Wonder Trade. There's just there's no, there's no way. There's, there's no way. It's like saying no one is breathing right now. I guarantee we're all breathing. If you're watching this, you are breathing. I hope. No, you have to be breathing. There's no way you could make it 30 minutes holding your breath and not breathing. Plus, you'd have to know before the episode even started. Alright, well, I think that'll be it. Probably, uh, if, if we end up getting any successful Wonder Trades, we'll montage it at the beginning of next episode. And then, let me finish explaining that real quick. So, I'll probably do that and then it'll fade back out or flash into, like, the live intro where the recording from there on happens out. I don't know. I don't know, if you have any ideas why Wonder Trade sucks, let me know in the comments. If you have any ideas how we should go about Wonder Trading, let me know in the comments. Should we make the montages at the beginning? Should I make them at the end of like this episode? I don't know. So just, just let me know. 
Let me know if anything you can about Wonder Trade. That is it for me, though. I will go ahead and see you guys on Tuesday, not tomorrow. That's another question. Probably should ask this at the beginning. I hope I remember to ask you at the beginning of Episode 6. Should I record an Episode 6 and 7 for the weekend? Because it would be very, very easy to do. I could very easily, every week, get a six or get a Saturday or a Sunday, Monday, rather, um, I can't speak. I could very easily get a Saturday, Sunday, Monday episode recorded, edited, and rendered very easily. You know, all that would probably take like two hours tops, which I could do like right now. I'd have two hours easy. You know, after this, maybe give it an hour or two to get on YouTube, whatever, whatever. So should I... Yo, you guys see that guy's name? I love boobs. Look at all these passerbys. How is no one wonder trading? It, uh, my luck's just gotta be garbage, or really is like very limited until you get farther in the game. But back to what I was saying. Although I guess look at that, a lot of them have uh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, should I? Do you like seeing them recorded daily, like the day they go up, or would you not mind? Because five of them would still be recorded the same day they're uploaded. It would just be the Sunday Monday episodes that are bulk recorded technically. But, I don't know. I mean, I'm having fun with it, so I could easily do it. Let me know what you guys think. If I remember, I'll ask on Tuesday. That is it for me. I will really get out of here, though, you guys. Have yourselves a good weekend. Peace out.